Hey guys, welcome back to Space City Soaps. My name is Phoebe and I'm excited to say that today the Aleppo soap is ready. I am more than positive that they are ready to go. They have cured. I did a zap test, no zap at all. They are hard as rocks and they're ready to go and be purchased. And today I'm going to show you just a little video on how I package them. So let's go. So first I thought I would show you how I shrink wrap my soaps. And typically I shrink wrap my soaps right after I cut them. And I started doing this so that they wouldn't get dusty while they were curing and they stay shrink wrapped right up until the customer receives them and unwraps them themselves. And I did this to prevent my soaps from getting dusty while they were curing. And you might ask yourself, okay, well, that's cool, but how do you let air circulate and cure the soap? Well, I just snip a little corner off before I shrink them. And it works wonderfully, and I noticed that doing this actually helps the soap retain fragrance. So not only do the soaps not get dusty and cure in the exact same amount of time, but they hold in fragrance much better. So I thought I would share that little tip with you guys. Hey, so here we have it. Here is the shrink wrapped Aleppo soap. It has the little hole for air circulation and they are cured and ready to package. And before I start, I just wanted to give a shout out to Beth. She was one of our very first um, customers to pre-order the Aleppo soap and she if you um, pre-ordered you may or may not have gotten this packaging um, but I know for a fact that Beth did not so this is kind of a shout out to Beth so let me show you how they're packaged now first thing that I do is that I have mountains of these little party favor bags you can get them anywhere you can get them at party city uh walmart and i really like them because they sort of have i don't know the technical name for it but it has this sort of accordion aspect to make the bags wider so before i start i just take a little stack of these and i give them a little trim just like that Okay, and then I take one of them, open it up, stick the Aleppo soap inside, and um, so for the Aleppo soap in particular, I did not want, I wanted it to be sort of more natural packaging. I usually use sort of iridescent translucent ribbon to tie my um, bags but for these I wanted to use something a little bit more natural since it's a vegan soap and it's unscented and all of that so I decided to use twine every household needs a big ball of twine because it comes in handy I like to first take it like this and give it a good twist and I take a little bit of twine and cut it off just like that Take the twine and I just hold it in one side and then I like to wrap it around just like that and I just tie a little knot and I don't really like that much excess twine edge to be you know doing its thing all over the place so if there's a lot and twine just does that. If there's a lot, I just sort of snip off the excess. I do like it to be a little rustic looking though. So that's what we have so far. Easy, easy. Then the next thing that I do is I take one of the labels that I made for the Aleppo soap. And I'm a little abnormal because I love designing and I love packaging. I know a lot of soapers sort of hate that part of um, being in the soap business, but I love it. I create a different label, the design and everything, for each one of our products. 
See, there's the back with the ingredients and the little symbols like recycled, made in Texas, cruelty-free, vegan because this soap's vegan. I don't necessarily put that on every single one of my soaps, but this one is definitely vegan. And so this, this background right here, um, I actually took that pattern from uh, Syrian painted tile work. So I thought that was really neat and it's gorgeous and definitely appropriate for a lipo soap. Yep, so there's my little label. And I just, I make sure to thread the, the twine in the right way. And then I just tie another little knot. And then I just tie a basic regular bow. Now for all of you who are super into paper crafting and are expert bow tires, don't laugh. <laughs> I think that is such a cool hobby and passion and or business, but bow tying just kind of drives me crazy. So I just, I stick with the classic, classic bow. And there we have it. At first, when I started packaging these, these little ears on the side didn't bother me. I was like, because I really love the sound of crinkly polypropylene bags. So does my mom. We just love the way, listen. I just love the way that sounds. It sounds exciting. Like, it sounds like a package. I don't know. I just really like the way it sounds. And so at first I was like, these don't bother me. These little ears sticking out, they don't bother me. But then after I packaged quite a few, they started to bug me and they take up more space than necessary. So I just fold them down. I take a little tiny bit of scotch tape. You really don't need very much. In fact, that was probably a little too much and I just tape it down. And ta-da, there we have it. And that is how I am packaging the Aleppo soaps. Cute, like a little present. And I really like oversized tags as well. I just like it, I just think it makes it look, gives it a little something extra. So let me do a few more for you. to come back and talk a little bit about the shampoo aspect of Aleppo soap bars. So after I made the Aleppo soap, I still did research because I really like doing research on the, these kinds of things, on soap, on beauty products, on everything. And one thing that I read is that Aleppo soap is a top-notch shampoo bar. And I decided to try it. I also got a comment from one of my subscribers and she asked hey i just purchased an aleppo soap have you used it as a shampoo bar i heard that they were great the it was like a couple of hours later it was crazy and so i took my bar of aleppo soap that i reserved for myself and i went and i washed and shampooed my hair and just because not all of us have the same kind of hair, just to run down, I have, my hair is naturally this color. I don't have it color treated or anything. It is super thick and wavy and a little unruly, which I personally embrace and like about it. When I went into the shower and started lathering up my bar of Aleppo soap, 
and you know sort of massaging it on my scalp it did take a little bit of work to get the lather going just because it was a new bar I hadn't used it before um, but after that it just started sudsing and doing really good I immediately noticed that after using the Aleppo soap and um, starting to rinse it out is my hair felt squeaky clean and when I mean squeaky clean I mean that as in you can literally take your hair, do this with your fingers, and you can hear a squeak. It was super squeaky clean. I really like the way laurel berry oil smells. It's totally something, it's very medicinal, and I really, really like that. But it was so squeaky clean, and I use hair conditioner anyway, but I definitely needed to use hair conditioner after shampooing with the Aleppo soap bar. I used conditioner afterwards, but as far as getting my hair clean, 1000% this little bar of soap will get your body and your hair clean I love it and after showering you know let my hair air dry my hair and this is just personal experience everybody has different hair but my hair had so much more body it just felt light and very you know conditioned and healthy and it had so much body and I kind of had like ringlets going on and I really really thought it was really pretty and my hair felt great and soft and manageable which is saying something but I really loved that how much body it gave my hair I could work it and do all kinds of good stuff with it and my hair felt super duper clean on top of that so I just wanted to mention that so this is actually an Aleppo soap shampoo bar. It was awesome. I am 100% on board. I don't even know if I will buy shampoo from now on, but I love it. And I'm really proud of this product. And I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or if you if there's anything you want to know about Aleppo soap, Wikipedia is a really, really good one. And the links in the Wikipedia article that take you to other places that have even more information, you just go to Wikipedia and type in Aleppo soap. It has tons of great knowledge. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.